Parsec versus AnyDesk. My experience using both for remote access and game streaming. So, when it comes to Parsec versus AnyDesk, I've actually used both quite a lot, but for slightly different reasons. Still, I figured it'd be helpful to talk through how they stack up, especially if you're looking for something that works well for gaming and general remote desktop use. Spoiler, they're both solid, but they feel very different in how they're built and what they're best at. I first got into Parsec because I wanted something smooth enough for remote gaming, and honestly, it completely surprised me. It wasn't just good, it felt native. The latency is super low, even when I'm not on the same network. I've played fast-paced games like Rocket League or Cuphead remotely, and the input delay was barely noticeable. The streaming quality is really clean too. You can tweak things like resolution, bitrate, and encoder type, like switching between H64 and HEVC if your hardware supports it. Plus, it's not limited to just gaming. I've used it to edit videos and even do light design work on my home PC from my laptop, and it holds up great. What I especially like is that Parsec gives you control over things like frame rate and bandwidth cap, so you can optimize depending on whether you're on Ethernet or using mobile data. It does chew up a bit of CPU, especially if you're hosting, but not enough to be a real problem unless you're on very old hardware. Now AnyDesk, that one I started using more for work. It's more like a traditional remote desktop tool, and in that category, it's honestly one of the best I've tried. It's fast, secure, and the connection is really stable. The UI is super minimal, which I actually like when I'm just trying to get something done remotely, like accessing documents or fixing something for someone on another PC. It even runs well on low bandwidth. But here's the thing, when you try to use AnyDesk for gaming, that's where it starts to fall apart a bit. The input delay becomes really obvious, and the frame rate isn't high enough to make fast motion games feel playable. It works fine for strategy games or maybe turn-based stuff, but for anything requiring Twitch reactions, it's a no-go in my experience. And there's no support for game controllers either. Parsec picks those up like magic. With AnyDesk, I've had to jump through hoops just to get sound working properly too. Pricing-wise, both have free options. But Parsec does lock some pro features like multi-monitor support or higher color accuracy behind a paid plan, which last I checked was around $10 per month. AnyDesk has a free plan too, but for business use or multiple device setups, you'll need to go premium. And their licensing model is a bit confusing, honestly. Like they charge per user per year, but the features you get at each tier aren't always clear until you bump into a limitation. So yeah, if you're doing casual remote access or helping a friend fix their PC, AnyDesk is solid, it launches fast, doesn't ask much of your system, and it just works. But for anything game-related, Parsec absolutely destroys it. Even for creative or collaborative work like co-editing or sharing screen space in real time, Parsec just feels smoother. I guess it all comes down to what you're trying to do. I still keep both on my PC. Parsec for play and projects, AnyDesk for quick fixes and file grabs. Just don't expect AnyDesk to magically become a game streaming app. It wasn't built for that. Meanwhile, Parsec somehow balances both worlds, and if I had to choose only one to keep installed, I'd go with Parsec, no hesitation.